doing 60, 65, 70 maybe uh, on, the, on Highway 84 does not do the gorge justice. And so I've learned through the years that the slower you experience the gorge, the more you will appreciate it. The gorge literally goes two to 3,000 feet above our heads. And in my opinion, the, the reason to come out here by bike is that we can go this slow and we can really see the gorge as it was intended to be seen back in the early 1915s when all they had was Model Ts that probably didn't do any faster than we're going right now. The historic Columbia River Highway has done one important thing for me personally, and that is when I see a scenic route, I take it now because for years I drove past this one and I didn't realize what I was missing until I started to work here. The historic Columbia River Highway offers a multitude of opportunities from camping to hiking to viewpoints, magnificent viewpoints. It's a history. It allows you to travel east of Portland as though they did in the early 1900s. Oregon's historic Columbia River Highway is a paragon of early 20th century road building excellence. Inspired by Switzerland's Ochsenstrasse, the highway's visionaries, entrepreneur Sam Hill and engineer Samuel Lancaster, created a road that would convey passengers and commerce while providing a spectacular scenic experience amongst the natural wonders of the gorge. A lot of people like to drive the scenic highway, but they really don't get much opportunity to leave their car. So the fact that there's a farm here and that the farm is available to the public through a fruit stand or a wine tasting room, then the people have an opportunity to, you know, to get out of their car and actually see more up close the gorge and all its beauty. I would like everybody to turn around, look out, and tell me two changes you see today that we haven't seen the other times. The water's a lot higher. The water's higher, yes. More clouds. More clouds. Yeah, no wind. <laughs> That's a temporary thing, I'm sure. We are at the Twin Tunnels on the old Columbia Gorge River Highway, and we are Mosier Middle School. We are a 60 7th and 8th graders in a blended classroom, and it's a charter school within one mile. This presents us with opportunities that are so integrated in our curriculum. We can be outside, and we can be studying geology. We can be studying volcanic formations that are being formed before our very eyes. I think it's really quite fun because not only do we learn about the stuff in the textbooks that we read, but we also get to see it. Afterwards. It's more of a hands-on experience and it helps you remember. It's what every child needs, the connection from the curriculum to what's really out here in their backyard. The tourists we get here really are from all over. Uh, it's one of the neat things about the National Scenic Area is that it draws both for its natural beauty and the sports. So we really get a wide variety of state and regional tourists that are just getting away for a short trip to the gorge. And then we get several international travelers that include this on part of their tour of a larger part of the United States. 62 of the original 73 miles of the highway are now open to travel, either by motor vehicle or foot and bicycle there's a clear path to reconnecting the remaining 11 miles. Currently bikers right now compete with I-84 traffic, including some of these big semis. Uh, with this new trail, they'll be able to have a safer passage. Columbia River Gorge is the only national scenic area that exists in the country. It would mostly just be great to see that connection happen all the way through, I think the popularity of it would rise, it would become a nationally renowned trail to go that far through a scenic area and our business would be directly connected to that rise for sure. The historic Columbia River Highway and State Trail are one-of-a-kind assets for Oregon. With continued support 
will complete the last 11 miles and give Oregonians and visitors from around the world a national treasure to enjoy.